Emma, are you okay? You're kind of worrying me. It's just with all the pacing back and forth that you're doing. You're worried? Really? I'm trying to, to get up the nerve to actually tell you something. And you're worried? Really, you are worried. I, I have not told anyone this. And the last thing that I ever knew was that my family and friends were dead. But now I know that they are actually still alive. I might be able to see them again. What if at ten years old you thought your family and friends, or anyone you ever cared about, were gone and you could never see them again? And you were not there. What would you think? And then, five years later, suddenly, you realize they're not. Just that you've been lied to. What would you think of that? Oh, okay, I, I understand. It's just, I have to be out of here in, like, ten minutes, so... If you could just hurry it up a little bit. Because you've already been here for, like, two. Alright, alright. It all started around five years ago. I was back home. Getting ready to leave. Do you have everything? Yeah, I think so. But mom, I don't understand. Why do I have to leave? Why can't I just stay here? Because, Emma, in the year 1511, our ancestors built this place to save us. And to represent them, it was said that the one who had to go and retrieve the amethyst had to be a direct bloodline from Connet. I know, I know. And when Connet died, her sister took over. And to represent her death, they named it Connet. They named the town Connet. I know the story. You've told it to me a million times. And now, officially, a million and one. Now may I continue my story? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. So when Connet died, her sister Vanessa took over as the leader, and Vanessa finished what Connet had started. She created the wall, and named their world Connet after her. But in this whole mess, the Amethyst had gone missing, and it was never brought to Connet. So they said that when their community was thriving, that someone from a direct bloodline of Connet would go and retrieve the Amethyst, and to represent the year, whoever was sent had to be on their 11th birthday. Now do you understand why you have to leave? Of course, it, it makes sense now. Can I please just go say goodbye to Stella and Zimbeline? Please? Of course. You have 20 minutes to half an hour, then come back here and we'll leave. Thank you. I'll be down at the library. Stella? Emma, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, I just wanted to talk to you. You know, just to kind of, uh, catch up. Why not? Uh, okay? What? What do you want to talk about, then? I just wanted to say goodbye. That's all. But, Emma, you, you just got here. Y you know that? You just got here. Do you want to leave? I, I mean, you, you just mean leave the building, right? You don't mean, you don't mean leave Connet. You're, you're like me, you, you want to stay here forever. Don't you? I mean, it's, it's dangerous. You know that. What? I, no, 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 of course not. I just, I'm just wanting to, just 
leave the building, that's all. I just want to get out and explore maybe the woods for a few weeks or something. Truly, that's all it is. I'm not leaving, okay? You just won't be able to see me for a little while. You are leaving, aren't you? You're leaving. Stella, no, no, it's it, it's not that. I just, I'm not, I'm not leaving. I, I, I promise, okay? I'm staying here. I just, I just need to leave. You know what? You just, you want to go out and get yourself killed or something. I'm sorry. I just leave me alone. If you want to go get yourself killed, go ahead. It's not my place. Stella. Better go, better go find Cymbeline, and maybe that will end better. I just hope I can reason with Stella. When I get back. What are you doing? I was just looking for you. Where have you been? Well, you're not going to find me in a ditch. And I was looking for you. Oh, you, you were? Yeah, I was. I ran into Stella and she said something about you, you leaving? What is going on? And I see she's, she's told you. How nice. Yeah, she said that. What is going on? Are, are you just going camping or something? Or, or are you leaving Connick? Because if you are... Take me with you, please. Okay, Cymbeline, I, I understand that that you desperately, desperately, desperately want to get out of this place. But just don't worry about anything, okay? I just... Me and my mom just need to go somewhere to take care of some business. That's all, okay? Well, we will just be gone for a few weeks, tops. I promise. Business? What, what business? What do you need to do? It, yeah, it just... Look, she's been telling me this my whole life, and now that I've turned 11, we need to leave, just for a short time. Like I said, at least two weeks. Maybe three, but that's it. It's not going to be a month. And then I'll be back, okay? and then everything will just go back to normal. Better than normal, actually. I mean, you, you, you still haven't, haven't said why you're leaving. You, you know that, right? I mean, <laughs> Emma, if you were leaving Connet, going into the real world, you would tell me, right? I mean, you're the only person I've told that I want to leave. You're the only person who knows this. I mean, Stella doesn't even know it. You would tell me, right? Simply, and I... I'm sorry, I just... I really have to go, okay? I'm sorry. Simply, and I am so sorry, I just... I really have to go. I promise I will be back with an explanation in two weeks. Okay, two weeks. Then I will explain everything. Just at the moment, it's confidential. Okay? I promise. E Emma, what what are you talking about? You you can't trust me or something? I mean, you you say it's confidential, but but I've kept secrets. I have. You've kept my secret. I you you can tell me yours. Just please, please, just. Just tell me where you're going. Simply, I... I didn't mean that. I just... I really have to go, okay? I have to leave. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I understand. You just can't trust me because I'm not a good enough friend to you. You can't trust me with your secrets or, or anything. Yeah. I'm sorry I've never been there for you. 
just, when you get back from whatever you're doing, just forget about me, okay? Just think of me as an acquaintance. Simpline. <laughs> I didn't mean it. What do we do? Good. But before we go, I want to give you something. This is a chain that can bring someone back that you care about. Okay. Why do I need it? Because if we ever get separated, you can use this to bring me back. Anyone that you care about, just think of them while you're holding this chain, and it will bring them to you. Now, this is not a toy, so only use it when you're in danger. Do you understand? Of course. I understand. Okay, good. Let's go. After just one night of being there, I woke up and my mother was gone. I tried using the necklace, but it was gone too. And all of a sudden, I saw Cortland, and she told me that that Connet had been destroyed, including my mother. So at 11 years old, I thought that everything I had ever cared about was gone. I thought everyone was dead. But of course, now, I know what it is. Cortland lied to me. She lied to me just, she lied to me for five years. And that's my story. That's how I got here. Emma, I, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. I mean, time goes on. And at least I know everything, hopefully, is going to be okay. If you will help me. Of course. I'll do anything for Cymbeline. Good. I, I'd better go. You said you were having to leave in ten minutes. I don't want to get me in, in anyone's way. Wait, I have one question for you. Okay? What is it? What is Connet? You mentioned it. What is it? Oh, um, I... I guess I'm glad to see that simply didn't tell you something. Connet is my home. It's the world that you found. The name is sort of confidential. I mean, the world is, of course, confidential, but it's where I live. That's all you should know. If you want to help, meet me by the wall tomorrow at 8. If you're not there, I'll know why. <laughs>